In this video, we'll take a quick look at the crop tool in Lightroom. Cropping is typically pretty straightforward, but the crop tool in Lightroom does include some intricacies that you may not be aware of if you haven't used it very much. And um, those things can help to speed up your workflow and really save you some time. So first of all, to access the crop tool, you need to be in the develop module. Directly below the histogram at the top right is an icon for the crop tool. You can click on that icon to open it, or you can use the keyboard shortcut R. And when the crop tool is activated, you'll see that it applies a grid overlay to the photo. You may or may not want that grid overlay. It can be helpful when you're cropping to um, apply the rule of thirds to your crop, but you may or may not want it. If you click on this little arrow down here where it says tool overlay, you'll have three options, auto, always, and never. If you leave it set to always, it will always show the grid when the crop tool is active. If you click on never, it will never show the grid. And if you click on auto, it will only show the grid while you are actively cropping. So right now it's not showing. And then once I click and drag, it does show the grid. And then as soon as I let go of the mouse, it will remove the grid. So you can set it however you want, whatever will work best for you. And this grid overlay that you're seeing um, is not the only option. It is the default option, but you can select others by using the keyboard shortcut O to cycle through the different grids. So if you just click O, you can see the different options that are available. And find one that you want to use. Now, if we go over to the top right, You'll see the settings for the crop tool, uh, such as aspect ratio and angle. First thing we'll look at, look at here is aspect ratio. When you're cropping, um, if you leave it set to original, if you adjust the width, it will also adjust the height to keep the original aspect ratio. Um, and as you're cropping, if you want to move the area on the photo that is in the crop, you simply just click in inside the crop area and then drag to adjust that area. So now if I want to adjust the height, it will automatically adjust the width to keep the same aspect ratio. If you don't want it to work like that, you can click on the arrow, select custom, and then um, click on this little lock icon so it unlocks. And now as I adjust the width, the height is not impacted. And as I adjust the height, the width is not impacted. If you click the arrow, you'll also see some uh, standard aspect ratios that you can choose from. So if you want a square photo, you can choose the one by one. Um, if you know that you're gonna be printing eight by 10, so you can use the uh, four by five, eight by 10 aspect ratio. And as you adjust your crop, it will keep this aspect ratio. Um, you can also easily flip from landscape and portrait orientation. Right now it's in landscape, but if I wanted to use portrait orientation, I can simply use the keyboard shortcut X and it will flip. And uh, click X again and it will flip back. Now whenever you want to apply the crop, you can simply double click in inside the crop area or hit enter and it will be applied and it will also close out the crop tool. Now if you reopen the crop tool, you'll see that it was not a permanent change. We can still go back in and, and adjust the crop or you can click this reset button and it will reset the crop. Now this reset button only impacts the crop tool. It does not impact other changes made in the develop module. If you were to click this reset button at the bottom of the screen, it would impact all the changes in the develop module. So if you've already made changes to exposure or other settings, clicking this reset button will reset all of those settings. So it's best to get in the habit of using this reset button so that you're only impacting the crop tool. The last setting that we'll look at here is the angle. Angle slider can be used to adjust the angle of the photo, which can be helpful for straightening a photo that might be crooked. Um, you can just slide along the slider to um, adjust it as needed, or you can type in whatever you want. And if you double click on angle, it will reset to zero. So this can be helpful, but it can also be a little bit 
tedious, especially if you're trying to make a small correction. Um, what I think is easier is to use the straighten tool. So if you click on this little icon next to angle to activate the straighten tool, basically you want to use this tool to draw a line that you want to be straight. So in this case I want to straighten the horizon. So I'm going to click at one end of the horizon and draw down here and it will autom automatically straighten that line. And then I can apply that crop by clicking enter. And that covers the basics of the crop tool. It's um, nothing too complicated, but once you understand how it works and get a little bit of experience with it, it will help to speed up your workflow. Thanks for watching.